Hi, this is a review of Speech Therapy by Speech to Bell. Uh, she's a British rapper, and the CD actually won the 2009 Mercury Prize. The CD features a few other artists from her label, Big Dada, uh, Mukachu, and Roots Maneuver. I'll put some links to her songs in the description, uh, as well as a link to her website, so if you're interested, you can do a bit of your own research and download some of her stuff. Um, the CD sort of documents her life, like each track sort of like a diary entry, which is quite fitting given the title of the CD. Uh, she says on the title track, this is speech therapy, this isn't rap. I find that a lot of rap is riddled with cliché, so I normally avoid it, and the genre has become sort of associated with negativity. But I heard this track on a CD that was put out by a label, and I thought, oh, that's quite interesting. It has a sort of, it was the um, opening track to the CD, Searching, that was on the compilation. And it has this sort of skittish, like, offbeat opening with its acoustic guitars and then these cymbals clash, and it's quite interesting. So I thought, I'll look into this, and I found it shared a sort of CD out, so... I downloaded it and I was quite impressed. Like, what I find quite refreshing about the CD is it has some really uplifting songs. There's um, a track called Live and Learn, which I think for all it's sort of quite naive, it's a really simple and true message. Like, I can remember the like, amount of times I've heard it and it's just sort of, it just perks you up a little bit. There's this other track spinning that's lovely, it's a sort of, like, uber positive, let's change the world sort of thing. And the, a much more personal track, uh, Finish This Album, which is about her sort of struggle to actually complete things, which I think I can relate to, and I find it quite uplifting, because it shows that sort of other people have these problems and stuff, and I think it sort of humanises her, which there isn't really any shortage of, given how frank the CD is. I think the production of the CD really make it stand out. Like each track has a wonderful like backing support. Uh, it's been really well produced and written. It's like has this sort of musical kaleidoscope. It's like there's a really broad range of instruments involved and, and like different sounds that you find throughout the CD. The sort of guitars, Afrobeat, uh, jazz style drum rhythms, brass sections. These sort of really pumping. Uh, uh, there's a trumpet on, like, key, well, not a trumpet. Sorry, I'm not an expert at brass instruments, but there's a brass instrument in the track, the key, which really sort of complement her vocals. Uh, there's orchestral instruments as well, and it has a sort of wholesome feel to it that's missing, or I think is missing, in quite a lot of rap and hip-hop, because it's become so influenced by electronic music as opposed to sort of analog instruments. But... Throughout the CD you get a very personal description of her life, like there's this phenomenal track called Go Then By, which is sort of about like her breakup and trying to get over her past boyfriend, but the way that it's described is quite like current. It sort of talks about sort of the awkwardness caused by social networking sites and things like that, and I just think, yeah, I know that feeling. And, to me, being able to relate to something makes it so much more emotive. So I, that's my favorite track of the CD. A, the musicality, and it's really well sort of polished. Like it has these sort of lovely melodies in it, and it's really quite haunting. And her vocals are really strong in it. And B, the lyrics. And there's this other track, uh, Daddy's Little Girl, which has a sort of quite frank. Uh, approach to um, her abandonment well she sees it well she doesn't describe it but she was abandoned by her father as a child but she has this sort of tough she puts this sort of tough front on it and I think some of the word choice throughout the CD is quite uh, skillful as well like for example on the track Daddy's Little Girl there's this lyric uh my head tilted like a lover that's been jilted. Now, jilted, uh, the definition is used 
it's especially used in cases of a um, bride being left by a groom at a wedding. So, and it also means uh, a sudden unexpected rejection slash abandonment. And I think that's the way a child would feel if their dad about if their dad leaves them. It's sort of sudden, unexpected. You'd be confused feel about etc. Like I think it really concisely and cleverly describes all these feelings in one word. And the CD's sort of littered with these really great and well written lyrics. There are a few flaws with the C D. There's um there's a few redundant tracks, like um there's a track called Body Love which is quite bland to listen to and there's another called Wheels in Motion, which actually features Roots Maneuver. Uh he doesn't really have any place on the track and it's a bit play the tempo sort of drops a bit when that track comes up, in my opinion. So those are my main niggles with the C D. Also in places it seems slightly overproduced for a, a Brit Hop C D, which I don't know. I don't mind it so much, but it's a bit out of character of the genre. But on the whole, I think, despite the sort of contrast of her vocals with the sort of awesome backing, I think it works. Like, there's this lyric on a song called Bad Boy that I think sums it up really well. It's this sort of rhyme that shouldn't work, but it does. It says, um, where is it? Uh, yeah, because he wants to be remembered like Tony Montana, but he's forgetting he loves that like Tony Montana. It's like, it shouldn't work because it's rhyming the same word against itself, and it doesn't work, but it does, like, I don't know, it's just, if you look at it, like, purely from theory, her, her vocals on the CD are quite monotone and repetitive, like, in sound, so you'd expect them to be sort of completely overshadowed by these sort of awesome, spectacular backing tracks that are put on um, each track, but they're not, like, she remains the sort of staying point of each track and it's her that keeps you interested. It's like, you'd think that her voice would get boring after a while given the lack of variety, but it doesn't. It remains sort of interesting. And I remain curious as to like her as a person throughout the album because she's, of what she's gone through and how she, what she's taken away from each event. So for me, the sort of heart on the sleeve approach to the CD is it's like saving factor and it really interests me as the listener to sort of her feelings and thoughts on the issues that she's encountered like racism uh, prejudice and all these problems that she's come against and the thing what's quite surprising is you'd expect from some of the lyrics for her to be a sort of rough like, ghetto child, but actually she's the sort of, she was brought up in a middle class Jamaican sort of neighbourhood, and she actually went to school, she learned how to write music, she wrote poetry, so she's actually, I don't know, she posted this Twitter a while back, like, a tweet on her Twitter even, and she said, this music magazine doesn't seem to think I'm black enough, and I think that sums it up, it's like, Characteristically, she doesn't quite fit with the music, but I don't mind so much. But it's caused quite a lot of controversy, and she was an unusual choice for the Brits, so some people don't really like her. Then there was the whole scandal at like the Take That event. But anyway, I'm going to um, end this review here before I bamble on any longer. So, I'd recommend this for fans of the golden era of hip-hop, uh, some rap music. I wouldn't recommend this for those that like sort of Missy Elliott and Jay Z, etc., and sort of the regulars of mainstream rap because uh, this is quite offbeat. It's not out of rhythm, but it doesn't follow a sort of uh, bass driven beat, so it can be quite odd to get into. So, yeah, a decent CD. I'd recommend it to those people. Uh, I'd give it probably 4 out of 5, but I think it's a promising debut from a young artist, so check her stuff out.